Spring has sprung at Filoli, and our tulip display will be in peak bloom by mid-March. Filoli features 86,000 bulbs this year, including daffodils, tulips, hyacinths, and more. Have you ever wondered how we create these beautiful bulb beds each year? Let's follow a bulb on its seasonal journey. In October, the bulbs are shipped here from the Netherlands, just south of Amsterdam. First, they are sorted for various projects. Almost 30,000 bulbs are sold in the clock tower shop during our holiday season, and the remaining will be used for the spring display. Here at Filoli, Narcissus bulbs are the first to sprout. Our daffodil field has its peak bloom in late February. There are more than 150 varieties grown here at Filoli, including historic bulbs planted before the 1930s by the Bournes, Filoli's first family. If you walk through the garden house in spring, you won't be able to miss the heady scent of the potted hyacinths. Hyacinth's more relaxed cousin, the bluebell, blooms later in spring and creates a blue-violet carpet of bell-shaped flowers. And the stars of the show, the tulips, will be in peak bloom in March. 5,000 tulips fill the sunken garden beds, varieties chosen for their strong, tall stems and gorgeous colors. After they are done flowering and it's time to plant the summer display, the tulip bulbs will be dug up and composted. All our daffodil bulbs from the pots will be stored for the winter and then planted in the naturalized areas like the daffodil field, where they will hopefully bloom again next year. Here's one of our horticulture staff who can tell us a little bit more about how it works. My name is Gillian. I work in the walled garden, the rose garden, and the woodland garden. Every fall, typically starting in October when we get our bulbs in um, and all the way up to like early December, um, we are planting bulbs. Bulbs like tulips and daffodils are dormant in the summer and fall and, and the winter and they sprout in the spring. So the time to plant them is in the fall. Uh, so that way, ideally you get a winter chill uh, winter rain and then they come up in you know February March April you can plant them a number of different ways what we like to use is this thing called a bulb planter um, these work great for tulip bulbs and daffodil bulbs um, and essentially what you're doing I'm actually gonna stand up to uh, kind of demonstrate this a little bit is you step on it with your foot so you don't have to bend over, not dig a hole, and it cre hollows out a perfect little core that you can plop the bulb into, and then you just move over six inches and plop the next bulb in. The biggest thing pe people ask me is, can you reuse the tulip bulbs? Like, do we reuse the tulip bulbs? And the answer is no, for tulip bulbs specifically, because they don't reflower well the next year, especially these ones, it doesn't get cold enough. So we buy new tulip bulbs every year. However, the daffodils do great. You can leave them in the ground and they'll come back year after year after year. So if you plant daffodils in your garden, expect to keep seeing them again like every spring. What I recommend people do is to like buy them if you can buy them here in the garden shop like typically like a little before Christmas time like around our holidays we usually sell like bags of them um, which is a nice amount and you can put them in a pot um, or you can put them in the ground um, but plant them like in November in October November don't wait too long uh, and then just watch them come up and do their do their magic thanks for coming along to learn about the life of a bulb at Filoli there's still time to visit and see our spring display. Get your tickets today at filoli.org.